Hello TDI lovers, I'm back again. I just wanted to show you, this is an update on the latest, well, this, I did this one about four months ago. It was a, it wasn't a dual mass to single mass conversion, it was actually a single mass to single mass. What I had was a runaway. The, the turbo center shaft had worn away so much that it let oil that's supposed to be lubricating the center turbo shaft it let that oil go right into the uh, intake and since the diesel runs on oil it ran on that oil that you're just pumping from your crankcase to try and lubricate that center turbo shaft and that's what's called a runaway so um, while it was doing that it was actually uh, filling up the intake with oil and that oil even when you shut the car off dumped into whatever valves was open um, so the valves, uh, I think it was the one in the number one and number two cylinders, were filled completely filled with oil. And what happened was, why I'm showing you this uh, flywheel clutch and uh, th this assembly, is if you can see over here, see what happened? Now this is what happened when you try and start a car that is hydraulically locked with oil in the cylinders. What I wound up having to do was turn that engine over by hand and it really wasn't a good thing to do but it was the most efficient way to get the oil out without um, without disassembling the engine. But uh, so what happens is you, you, try and start the, you try and start the car and the starter is uh, extremely powerful. It just starts snapping off those teeth like corn and it's not a, it's not a good thing. So what I wound up doing was uh, buying off of uh, an online vendor the uh, uh, the uh, ultra lightweight composite flywheel slash clutch assembly as the throwout bearing the pressure plate. And what happens is you end up with a horrible chatter. I'm, I'm just trying to get my drill here. I'm going to drill with the end. And the flywheel on the new set is the flywheel on the new set is uh, nine pounds the flywheel on this old one this g60 uh, flywheel that someone converted before i purchased the car i'm gonna go ahead and give you a an accurate weight on it now the weight is from the date that it was uh removed you, you have to assume that some of the material was yeah, some of the material was <laughs> was uh, removed just to standard use, but it shouldn't be that much. We're, we're, we're talking about a clutch. We're talking about a clutch. We're not talking about any type of uh, crazy device that is gonna wear away a lot of a lot of the metal. So I'm gonna just take this off. This is the this is the pressure plate here with its uh, one one two three four five six six uh, nine millimeter twelve points heads. Uh, it says here that the clutch was replaced in 613. Uh, that looks like 02 to me. I see the 08 or 02. And here's the centering tool here on the... Now remember how we can tell uh, dual mass to single mass? The single mass has the, the high tension springs. And I say springs because there's an outer spring and an inner spring. Springs in the clutch. And here is the, this is actually quite heavy, here is the single mass flywheel. And if you look on the back, on the dual mass on the back, it actually have some, uh, in this channel here, it actually have metal, and in that metal will be, uh, it's like a spring here, a spring here, and a spring here, then some dampeners, and it's actually two separate sections. That's why it's called dual mass, because it's two different masses that move. Now, supposedly together, but one, those dampening springs on the back are what are at issue. So I'm going to take this, and you can see my scale here. The scale is currently set to zero. I'm going to set this on top here. Set it on top. Holy moly. And we are looking at, I want to say, about 21 and a half pounds. So that jives with what we are, uh, what what you should be replacing your single mass flywheel. I do not recommend that anyone gets those ultra lightweight flywheels, the nine pound, 11 pound, 15 pound, 18 pound, or 19 pound flywheels. Those, well, 19 is kind of on the border there. Those flywheels cause um, a whole different issue. At idle, 
the car will, the, the TDI, will transfer some of that uh, engine vibration directly through through the uh, through through the, the clutch assembly to the uh, the drive shaft, and because you don't have this heavy weight, this heavy mass, that uh, via uh, centrifugal force. Uh, centers it and balances it. That's why these are always balanced. You always want to make sure that your flywheel is balanced before you put it on the car or you, you may cause other issues that, um, and it won't last that long. But because it's balanced, it centers the engine's force. When you get the ultralight, ultralight flywheels, they don't have enough mass to balance that force that's coming from the engine and you have this horrible, well not horrible, but it is audible. You can hear the vibration. Um, it's kind of a situation I'm going to have to let play out until that new assembly wears out. But I wish I would have known that before. I thought I was going to get more gas mileage. I thought it was going to accelerate faster. I thought that there was going to be a quicker response time from um, from the time that you press the pedal to the time that you're, you're actually accelerating. And none of that's true. Um, the, the old G60 flywheel is the way to go uh, if you're going with the single mass. If you're going with the dual mass, you, you're just going to wind up... Um, well, no, no, I, I'm not going to... You know, make assumptions about how long a new dual mass flywheel lasts. Volkswagen puts them on there for a reason. Some people prefer them, some people don't, but I don't. Um, the single mass are not, there's not much to them. So to break, you're going to have to, have to either have a, a horrible mechanical failure like I did, or um, or these things are going to last pretty much the life of the car. They're, 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 they're built mule tough, I mean. Um, this is the clutch. You can see the clutch is still in really, really good shape. Uh, I should have actually used that clutch in the new assembly instead of using the new um, stage two clutch that I put in it. But that's it. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update. I would let you hear the car, but you know how um, when you're using these recording devices, it amplifies mechanical sounds and you really can't differentiate where it should be and where it shouldn't be. But basically, when the car is at idle and if you press down the clutch, uh, it it sounds like a standard TDI running, okay? But once you take your foot off the clutch and the car is in neutral, this is for a manual shift tra transmission. Once you uh, take your foot off the clutch and you allow it to engage, even though the car is in neutral, it starts spinning the transmission and you hear uh, a, a much louder idle sound. And it's not horrible loud like, uh, like an exhaust noise, but it's, it's a rattling noise. And it's just a fact of life for a ultralight flywheel. So that's it. Just wanted to update everyone. Hope uh, you're all doing, doing okay. And uh, TDI Love from Chicago. Take care. Bye-bye.